Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to create the look that I am wearing right now, but I am going to create it by using all the drugstore products. Yes, I have been getting a lot of requests on creating a look using drugstore products, so I probably thought that Rakhi is just around the corner. So why not create a look for this Rakhi using all the drugstore products. I really like the way it has come out. It's so beautiful, so gorgeous, just apt, up to the mark. Love the foundation I have used. Love my eyebrow pencil. Love the eyeshadow palette. Everything. So in case you want to see how did I create the look, please keep on watching. I'm going to start with the primer. And the primer that I'm using is from L'Oreal. It's the Magic Yumi Light Infusing Primer. It is one of the primers that brings a lot of radiance to the skin, especially for dry skin, it works like magic. After the primer, I'm going to do color correction and for color correction, I'm using LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Orange. I know this is too orange for me but yes it works very well for Indian skin tone and especially under the eyes where you have dark circles and all those areas where you see a lot of darkness. I am going to blend this using this mini beauty blender. And for my foundation today, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. I'm going to apply this using this damp beauty blender and I absolutely love how the foundation turned out to be. It's actually an illuminating foundation. It's something which is very, very dewy. It doesn't look like a drugstore foundation. The coverage is superb. And it stays pretty long. I've been wearing this look all throughout the day and till night my foundation did not move. It's so beautiful and it's something that you can always build up. So if you really feel that you want more coverage in certain areas, you can always build up the foundation. But for just one stroke also, the foundation covers pretty well. I think my absolute favorite foundation now from the drugstore is definitely going to be this LA Girl. For my concealer and for my highlight, I'm using this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment and this is in Neutralizer. It is so yellow, brings instant brightness to the skin and I absolutely love it. I'm going to apply it under the eyes and all the high points of my face and blend it using the damp beauty blender. Again, this is one of the products that I actually love from drugstore. It covers so well, bring instant brightness to the skin and it's superb. I'm using this mini blender under the eye area and I'm going to apply it on top of my eyes as well as my eye primer. For the powder, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder in the shade Banana and I'm going to apply it with the same damp beauty blender. Although I do not like the powder too much, but that was just one of the drugstore options that I had in mind for loose powder. It actually made my skin look really dry as I'm already dry. 
but in case you have any suggestions for a good powder from drugstore please do write down in the comments below i would really love to use them and for bronzing my skin i'm using the nyx matte bronzer in deep tan and i'm using the brushes from hyris these brushes are my latest obsession and i absolutely love them For my nose contour, I absolutely love this brush from her kit and it is amazing. I'm going to use the blush from Color Essence. It's a shimmer brick compact in the shade Nectar. I think I have been underestimating this brand, but the blush is so so gorgeous. I actually love the way it turned out on my skin. It gives me a beautiful sheen as well. And for my highlight, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold with this fan brush from Hyris Brushes. This highlighter is my absolute favorite from drugstore. It doesn't look like as if it's a drugstore highlight. It provides you with that beautiful sheen in just one go. All the girls who've been waiting for a wonderful highlight from drugstore, please get your hands on this. You will never regret buying this. My face is almost done and now I come on my eyebrows. I'm using this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate. This is a wonderful pencil which has got this pencil on one side and spoolie on the other. And I loved how my eyebrows came out with this pencil. For my eyes today, I'm using these two palettes from Makeup Revolution and NYX in your Element Metal Eyeshadow Palette. I am going to use the Makeup Revolution Ultra Professional Eyeshadow Palette in Flawless Matte. And for the transition, I'm using this shade Olden, a beautiful color that I'm going to use as my transition color. And yes, again, all the brushes that I'm using are from Hyris. This is the eye set that I'm using. The next color that I'm using is Oak, and I'm going to use it in the outer corners just to define the eye shape and now for the main lid color i come to the nyx in your element metal eyeshadow palette and i use this gorgeous color from the palette in the last draw i'm going to top it up on the corner color that i've used earlier also for the inner corner and the main lid i'm going to use this beautiful color from the top row it has amazing sheen for the inner corner highlight and for my brow bone highlight, I'm using this silvery metallic color. Again, coming back to the Makeup Revolution palette and taking the same color, which is oak, I'm going to apply it on the lower lash line. I'll take this color, which is carbon, which is a black color in this Makeup Revolution palette, and I will apply this as a liner near the lash line for my mascara i'm using this maybelline mascara which is the colossal big shot mascara and i'm going to apply it on the upper and lower lashes again one of my favorite mascaras from drugstore I'm using this Chambord Lip Pencil. It's in the shade Rose Natural. And for my lips, I'm using this Nykaa Matte to Last Liquid Lipstick in Dilly, which is 07.
all those girls who know me i they know that i love mixing colors so on top of this i'm using this maybelline Gigi hadid lipstick in tora and i'm going to apply it on top of this So this is exactly what I've created and it is right in front of you. I totally loved to create this and I think it's so apt for Rakhi. It's a daytime festival wherein you don't want to carry anything which is over the top and still you want to look very very groomed. This look is nothing which is over the top. It's apt, it's beautiful, nothing too very loud, not too much of glitter and I think it is going to last all throughout the day. I completely love the look. In case you also liked it, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you come to know every time I upload. I love you all. Stay blessed and keep watching. And yes, happy Raksha Bandhan.